Meni je bilo drago što je sebična susjeda, za koju sam i ja, oponašajući tretan govor, tvrdila da nije nikakva prilika našem jozi, ostala bez svog kino partnera, ali mi nije bilo drago što je to učinio li prije nego što mi je ispunio obećanje dano one večeri, dok su mu se čizme sušili uz kaljevu pečtetine do nevne sobe, i dok je Zorica, Dva u žalosti što je kolegice neće ponovno vidjeti s najzgodnijem vozačem našeg domaćeg autobusnog vosnog parka. U svojoj novoj, legovanoj suknji, kupljenjoj u osjeć koje nami, zaspala u fotelji koju je sama približila izvoru topline. So this strategy I call reading in context, and it's a tool to learn uh, creation because it requires several steps. First, you read the original text. It's important to hear what you're saying so that you can remember a little bit of what the words are. Uh, the second point is to rewrite the entire text that you're working on at that moment, and then to analyze that text. And again, if you're new to this, you need a teacher to help you walk you through it. Once you've analyzed the text, then you retype everything on a clean document and add in the translations of the words you don't know. And you use that text as a guide to help you uh, memorize the words you don't know in context of the original text. And you're good when you can read the entire original text without having to look at your cheat sheet. Uh, and I find that I can remember words easier that way, in context, although I'm not so sure I can remember everything outside of context. But the more you can engage in this process, the better mapping you create in your brain to help you later when you're adding vocabulary, working on grammar, because you're unconsciously and intentionally creating uh, points of reference uh, in order to master Croatian language. At least, I hope.